Hello guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you my PvE build with Strikers. Um, I think you'll find it really interesting. I mean, it's not anything that original, but um, the way I run it could be a little different and I think you'll really enjoy it, so let's get into the build. So, the purpose of this build is to really uh, have that punch in PvE that you won't find anywhere else. Yes, it's a Striker, that in itself gives you a lot of damage, but we also try to make use out of the tackling as often as possible. I play this um, solo, duo, trio in a group with a four man. It basically works in every type of PvE in my opinion. Um, and I really enjoyed it. I found it to be the best build for PvE so far. If you're looking for damage at least, I'll do a PvE healer build as well. But um, let's, uh, let's start by taking a look at the general outlook of the build. Um, we're running six piece striker and two assault rifles, these are light titan 4s that I crafted with the blueprint um, and we're running with commanding as well so this allows us to get a lot of benefits from our tackling. So um, let's take a look at the weapons first because I think the key part of the build is the weapons. The first light titan 4 I have is the one that I use while my signature skill, the tackling is active. This one has destructive, commanding and determined. So now um, we can increase the duration of the signature skill by getting a kill uh, during the tactical link, tact link which is not really that hard it's really easy so uh, you can prolong the duration really really um, good and uh, you'll be able to get a lot of benefit out of the tactical link and then with the determined obviously um, this is a must have on all of the weapons um, each kill gives us reduction on our skills and our ultimate ability so we'll farm, farm the signature back as well. Sometimes when you do this, before you even run out of the tactical link, you'll have it back through the use of determined. It's it's actually crazy. That's why I really like this build. Um, this is also a really good solo build. If you're good enough at least you can actually run solo speedruns with the legendaries uh, without really needing anyone else. They usually solo you down at least to be honest. Like you wanna farm some global events. Um, just uh, equip this and solo some legendaries, you'll actually be farming really fast um, if you know what you're doing. With the next upcoming global event, uh, I think the striker is going to be one of the sets there, so if you don't have the pieces right now, you can farm for it in the next global event and then enjoy it for a long time. It's it's really good. So the lightweight M4, the first one with destructive, commanding and determined. Um, the way I mod it is magazine size crit chance and rate of fire on the magazine, pretty standard. Uh, and then just headshot damage mods with crit damage and crit chance on the scope and the suppressor and some reload speed on the underbell actually this is really good for PvE because you have to reload a lot but also um, what you can do is uh, if, you, if you're shooting for example and then you have to reload if you swap weapons mid reload um, you, you'll be able to refill your magazine but you still need to time it, like if I reload and then instantly swap, it's not going to really be reloading that much. You need to have a little timing with it and uh, you'll be able to reload uh, if on swap if you swap mid-reload animation. And what reload speed does is um, it reduces the time that you can actually uh, swap, so you just shoot a little bit and bam, you, as you can see the magazine is filling up. I'll just empty a mag. Damn, it's refilled. If you don't have reload speed, you'll have to wait a little longer before you can swap. So this is actually much faster than the usual reload, and gives you a lot more uh, sustained DPS. So it's also something you can use in PVE. And uh, the secondary one I have is the weapon I use when I'm not uh, using tactical link. Like the tactical link is on cooldown, and I basically use this if I don't have it active. Um, this has destructive, ferocious, and determined. I believe this is the uh, the best dep uh, weapon damage one you can get for PVE uh, with determined on it. This again has the same mods: max size, crit chance, rate of fire, headshot damage everywhere, and then reload speed on the underbarrel as well. So, um, as you can see with this weapon, um, and I have a blue pistol actually. Uh, this one has determined and cool hit. I really don't use pistols in PVE really like ever um, but you can use it to catch out some NPCs if you want to get your ultimate back but it's really not that 
important. Um, I usually just use a random high gear score uh, weapon if I'm matchmaking because if I am low gear score I just get kicked from matchmate groups which is uh, pretty ironic but that's how it works really. So you might want to equip something with higher gear score just to not get kicked uh, if you want. So let's dive into the pieces shall we. Um, the chest piece we have enemy armor damage, health on kill and ammo capacity with this build I run one piece into stamina then all pieces into firearms. Um, so the chest piece has stamina with enemy armor damage, health on kill and ammo capacity. This is the god roll you want for PvE. So more damage than health on kill um, increases your survivability. And since we're DPS we get a lot of kills so we always get benefit from this. Um, the striker mask has enemy armor damage and damage to elites. Again god roll for PvE. Um, the knee pads have enemy armor damage. It's really low roll here. But really we don't have a lot of options for PvE here, so I just went with it anyways. And the 16% damage to elites on the miner is actually a must-have. Um, you can also s uh, put in some increased kill experience if you want to farm more caches, I guess. But uh, it's not really that important. Uh, the backpack has stability actually, instead of health or anything else. Stability actually really works great with striker, because we already get a lot of stability bonuses from striker 2-piece and 5-piece and stacking more on top of that is actually pretty effective uh, because it stacks really well and you get a really laser beam weapon if you're actually using the M4 as well which is also really stable in itself so it makes a really big difference I would go with stability here instead of anything else and ammo capacity is also uh, god roll because you really need that ammo in PvE you're always shooting um, the, the gloves are also enemy armor damage, crit chance and sword rifle damage I think you can roll crit chance for health on kill here if you want that um, it's probably better for solo play if you wanna uh, do health on kill but I usually play like duo or group so I go with crit chance just for that additional uh, damage it's not really that dif different uh, health on kill is probably the best bet for solo if you mainly play solo but then enemy armor damage and assault rifle damage are must have and the striker holster is uh, also reload speed just to stack with the underbelly reload speed a lot so we're set at about um, I'm, I'm actually equipping the pistol right now we're sitting at about 51% um, reload speed bonus which is always really good and then all the mods I have are electronic mods with damage to elites 4% these are just electronic mods because I need about this much electronics as you can see barely able to unlock commanding and it also allows me to unlock um, ferocious as well so that's pretty good um, so yeah but, um, to unlock commanding you really need this amount if you and the, the important part here is you need to have determined in the free slot if you put commanding in the free slot and then put determined uh, in, in, in the first or second slot the determined requires about 4700 electronics so you'll have to spec more into electronics so it's always better to run commanding up in the second or first slot and then use determined on the last slot because we don't want to run that much electronics we just need to do this much we only get these from the mods so 4% damage to leads mods on uh, purple mods you can buy these on some vendors if they come up so um, just keep checking the vendors every week these should come often come up pretty often um, the performance mods I have are actually Sticky Bomb Explosion Radius mods. Since I run with the uh, Sticky myself, I find crowd control to be king in uh, PvE. I run with the Flashbang Sticky and uh, it gives you some additional range which is useful in a lot of scenarios. So why not like go with that? I mean I just bought it from some vendors a couple of weeks back so you'll find it very easy to get these mods. Even if you don't have those, you can run like pr pulse crit chance or something like that. Doesn't really matter. I run with the pulse as well, um, and that's pretty much the setup. Let's take a look at our skills again. We have the pulse with the tactical scanner. I mean, the crit chance and crit damage. It's not that high, but the uh, the tactical scanner also gives me about five percent multiplicative damage uh, in itself, additional to these crit damage and crit chance values. So that's why I p choose the tactical scanner. Um, and then I'll use the sticky flash which has a bigger radius with the performance mods and obviously the tack link is the bread and butter of this build like 30% damage, 50% uh, weapon RPM 
and 50% reload speed which stacks really well with the reload speed bonuses we already have so it's pretty pretty solid in that sense um, and the talents I have are also pretty good for this build the first one is tech support I think you should always have this build because you know with the tactical link um, you're killing a lot of NPCs and for example you pulsed um, and then you start killing some NPCs uh, but since you have low skill power the pulse is going to run out pretty fast but with this talent since you're getting always those kills uh, you'll extend the duration to pulse pretty much um, to make it 100% uh, uptime so that's pretty good in that sense precision is really good when you don't have the pulse ups so you still get uh, additional crit chance on headshots on NPCs so it, again something you should have and since we're always going for headshots one is none um, actually increases the size of our magazine by a whole lot especially if you have really good aim this is really good talent I mean it's probably uh, the, a must have for PvE and the on the move just uh, for the last touch just to get some additional resistance it's not really that important but I, d I couldn't find anything else for the third, uh, the fourth talent so I might as well go with this one and that pretty much concludes the build guys this is my striker PvE build focusing around the attack link and crazy damage with about 8,000 firearms. Hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next one.